Hello again. We're here with another set of Magic Deals videos. I'm Sean Lynch. Gonna be playing uh, Orzhov like creatures. Uh, I was gonna do vampires, but I wanted to put Always Watching in the deck and didn't really synergize with some of the guys because they wanted to be tapped to drain our opponent. That's the stats of the deck. Um, we're gonna go right into it, match one. Uh, yeah, basically, I was gonna do like a throwback to when I first started playing uh, Friday Night Magic um, in my local shop. For FNM and Standard, I play Black White uh, Allies, and it was just like drain you for one, drain you for one, drain you for one, and I gain one, I gain one. Uh, and I was going to do that deck, but I just couldn't bring myself to put most of the cards in it because they're not great. Um, and there's just a lot of better options in the newer sets, so I, I put a couple of them in, but we're, we're a lot of creatures, um, and then kind of some good removal like Anguish and Making and Never to Return, and some Fatal Pushes, Grasp of Darknesses, and then the rest is just all good stuff creatures. So we played a similar deck to this before, but not quite so creature heavy. I mean, like, I'm playing always watching them. Also, there's a life gain theme with the deck. I just want to gain a lot of life. Uh, just A, because that's good, and B, it'll flip our Lone Riders. Yeah, I'm just playing that for the fun of it. See what happens. There it is there. Uh, I'm on the draw. You know, I can't really keep this. Um, I mean, it's cool if I had if I drew a Swamp, you know. I can't keep that. Just can keep this, though. Uh, little, you know kill your guy, and then play my guy, and then draw more stuff, so. We'll see what they're playing. Uh, also, Mocha 2012 Ore, pretty trash name. Uh, the Ore kind of makes it worse. It's like, it was Mocha 2012, and like, it'll be a little bit better. Uh, so if I, I guess, yeah, since I didn't really have like a three drop or a double white spell, Probably should have played this first so I could go Fatal Push in your turn, and then I can play my Gift at 8th Born on my turn, so could get punished here for that. We'll see. Looks like we're not going to get punished unless he's going to play it in his second main phase. Nope. So he's got Sensor up anyway, that's for sure. Um, kind of a blue-green deck, I don't know if that plays counter spells, but I'm just going to wait one turn. Um, I guess maybe I should have jammed, then he might have been able to do that, he might have to Sensor my thingamajig, but if you're playing this, it implies to me that you're playing control, so kind of maybe a soul tie deck, maybe. I'm going to guess that's the, the black is the third color for, like, the removal, because neither of these have removal. Okay, it looks like he's on teamer. Fevered Visions. It's pretty good against control deck, but we're not a control deck, we're just a creature deck, so we're going to try and... Um, Run our creatures and do some work with them. So I could play this as well, it would take two damage though. Um, this dies to Harness Lightning, but they all, die, they all die to Harness Lightning to be fair, so... I think I'm just gonna play the Glory Brand Initiate because it's more damage. Um, and then next turn play both of these. Now he could be playing Sweltering Suns or Radiant Flames, but... We don't have the luxury of time. Well, we kind of do with the lifelink, but you know, if he starts killing our guys one by one, then we don't. <clears throat> Liliana is great in this deck. You know, the minus two, you know, almost always is going to get a creature. Okay, so we're playing this deck. Uh, you know, he's probably got fog up, which you know, pretty tilting. Uh, <clears throat> I hate this deck. It's got no interaction whatsoever. Uh, or like, it doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't play anything. It just plays these two things. We just. Not my cup of tea. Uh, yeah, we don't really care about the extra point of damage, or is that we don't even care about the extra point of damage? Because he's not going to play any creatures. He plays zero creatures in this deck. I just want to. Um... And we're also playing a two color deck, which is going to kind of force me to run out all of my creatures. And hope he's more on the fog, like I hope he runs eight fogs versus, you know, three board wipes, or four board wipes or whatever. Uh, and, you know, this is going to refill our hand anyway. Uh, Liliana, minus two, becomes less useful here because I don't want to mill my own cards because this is my life total now. I'm probably not going to die to this, I'm more likely to die to this. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. this deck just does nothing, it just plays these two enchantments and uh, draws cards and uh, plays fog. I really don't like it at all. 
Bone picker, there's an always watching. Always watching would have been great for us, actually. Let's see what else is in the graveyard. Yeah, pretty bad that we're playing a two color deck because it's more likely to, you know, double. I'm definitely never going to exert this as well just because, you know, he's playing green. I've noticed that they just play green for fog effects. So we could be pretty dead here, but. Let's see what happens. I guess I'll attack first. Nope. Fog. Yay. I hate this deck with a passion. Yay. Hmm. Just run it out. Could play Liliana, get something back. Ugh, that's my life total, so. Not the best thing to do, but I can resolve it, so I feel like I might as well resolve it. It'll save me two life at the minimum, and if he board wipes, then I will get something back. Also, I don't think I'll be drawing a card with this on the upkeep. At least that's a decent one. That was one of the few vampires I could put in, and it's just uh, great in draft, I remember, but uh, we have like two of these in the deck. Great artwork as well, very cool. Yeah, 25 and he's on 17. Looks like we're going to lose this one. Um, yeah, it's just too consistent with a, a two color deck. And like, you know, if he's playing the two mana fog, that means he's playing the one mana fog. If he's drawing a lot of cards, that means he's really likely to draw it. So. And, uh, we don't have any fragmentizing the stack, we kind of just prioritize uh, creatures. Yeah, do not pay. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're getting, we're getting a fog here for sure. Wow, we're not getting fogged? Is he just going to wait until. Is he slow roll? Wow, the slow roll. much to say there. Nothing much to say. This is just too slow. Would have been better on turn three. I mean, I guess the good news is he's used two fogs. So that's less likely he has um oh, oh cancel. And it doesn't matter that he I, that was an accident. Um, it doesn't really matter that he knows he has but we have that because he plays no creatures in the deck. Or Planeswalkers, I'm pretty sure. Maybe the 6 mana Chandra, because she has a 0 that can discard all your cards, and then that would activate this so many times. So we're getting pretty low on life, 13. Um, if we don't die this turn, we may need to exert both of these to try and win. No, we're dead. Okay. So I'm just going to scoop here. There's no point in playing on, it's just a waste of time. And I didn't enjoy that, but I hope you did. <laughs> and hope we'll get better games for games 2 and 3.